Welcome back guys, in this video I'll show you how to use in-game FSR for upscaler in conjunction with in-game XCSS frame generation in Cyberpunk 2077 running on ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11 Radeon 780M GPU which is based on RDNA 3 architecture won't be using any mod to achieve this the game officially supports FSR 4 upscaler FP8 model which is exclusive to RDNA 4 GPUs on Windows platform so I'll be using the int 8 model of FSR 4 upscaler on ROG Ally should also work on other Windows PCs with RDNA 3 GPUs. The game officially supports XCSS frame generation. We just need to update the in-game XCSS files to the latest ones via XCSS SDK in order to unlock the in-game XCSS frame generation setting on Ally. In this game, I do not recommend using FSR frame generation. Need to disable the in-game vignette effect in order to get the smoothing effect of FSR frame generation working properly. But this produces some noticeable artifacts Around a fast moving vehicle's bumper, a ghosting like effect is produced. A shadow also flickers during fast visual motion. These artifacts are not present when using XCSS frame engine. In order to get intake model of FSR 4 working, I'll simply replace in game FSR 3.1 upscaler DLL file with AMD loader file. We also need to install the DLL files corresponding to FSR 4 upscaler and FSR 4 frame generation. Then I'll replace FSR 4 DLL file with intake model of FSR 4 which will work on ROG Ally. On Windows platform, FSR 4 frame generation won't work. But if you have Linux installed on your Ally, you will be able to use FSR 4 frame generation. I've already tested it on my Ally. It's significantly heavier than XCFG. So if you want better performance, just stick with XCFG. Download FSR SDK version 2.1.0. From GP Open's website, I'll give the link to this site in the description. Just click on download FSI SDK package, download will start. Now just download XCSS SDK version 2.1.1 available on GitHub. Again, I'll give the link to the site in the description. Scroll down until you find asset section expanded. Click on the dot zip link, download will start. FSI SDK was leaked 3 months ago. It included files corresponding to the intake model of FSR 4. These files could be used to compile an FSR DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the Go File link here. From this page, you need to download AMD Fidelity FX Subscalar TX12.dll file by clicking on Download here. These are the files that I just downloaded. First, I'll update the NGM XCSS files. Just open XCSS SDK's archive file. Open bin folder. Select the highlighted files. Live xcss underscore fg dot tll xcss frame gen file. Live xcss dot tll xcss super resolution file for tx12 and Vulkan APS. Live xcll dot tll xcss low latency mode file. Copy. DX11 version of xcss super resolution not required. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Manage. Click on browse local files. This will open the games installed directory. Open bin folder. x64 folder. Paste the files here, replace the existing files. Done. You can create their backups if you want. I simply use Steam to verify the game data integrity whenever I want to restore the original files. Now I'll install FSR 4 upscaler. Just open FreeLTFX SDK's archive file. Open this folder, FreeLTFX SDK 2.1. Open Kids folder. Open FreeLTFX folder. Open sign bin folder. Okay, from here we need to select three DLL files AMD Fidelity FX frame generation DX12.TLL. If file extensions are not shown on your PC, just click on view here. Go to show and check the setting file name extensions. Moving on AMD Fidelity FX loader DX12.TLL file and AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler TX12.TLL file Upscaler Three files selected, right click, copy This process should work in other games as well that support FSR 3.1 Upscaler or anything newer than that Open the games install directory Open bin folder, x64 folder Paste the files there We need to change the name of AMD Fidelity FX loader DX12.TLL file. Use this name AMD Fidelity FX DX12.TLL file. Select the file, right click, rename, copy. 
just delete this file this file corresponds to FSR 3.1 delete select the loader file right click rename paste name change now I'll install the in date model of FSR 4 of scalar this DLL file corresponds to the FP8 model of FSR 4 upscaler which won't work on ROG LI exclusive to RDNA 4 GPUs just copy its AMD Fidelity FX upscaler DX12.tll file that you downloaded from GoFiles webpage open the games install directory bin folder x64 folder paste the file here replace the existing file and we are done Adrenaline settings for the game FreeSync, FreeSync on. I have set the UMI buffer size to 5 GB. My is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install LS latest official GPU driver optimized for Black Ops 7. Using a 27 watts manual profile, all 3 power values set at 27 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. I'll be using Afterburner and RTSS to show you the stats. Just open RTSS. Click on setup, scroll down to the end, make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject NVIDIA reflex latency marker settings are disabled. I'll run the game in Xbox full screen experience mode. And I restarted, select Cyberpunk. See in Steam. This will launch Steam. I have added Afterburner to my Steam library. Launch it first. I'll just close PC Game Pass app. Go back to Steam. From here launch Cyberpunk. Games launcher play. In game settings, graphics preset set to medium. Upscaler, yeah, FSR for upscaler setting got unlocked on Ally. With the quality preset of FSR for intake upscaler, some shimmering will be produced around the vegetation. Don't use it. Balance preset should work fine. Native anti lasing should also work fine. Sharpness level, I'll just set it to 0.2, up to you. Frame generation disabled for the time being and disable all of the post processing effects as usual depth of field chromatic vibration, film gain, lens flare, motion blur and vignette rest of the settings medium to high apply when in the game at 900p resolution display mode windowed borderless required for using XCFG no FPS cap applied we sync it's off no access to reflex as expected XCSS low latency mode should work after we enable XCSS frame generation here we are in I am in little china just check out the image quality it's looking so sharp so clean here FPS is close to 46 I'm just moving the camera around FSR 4 Intel upscaler does a good job of reducing the environment shimmering just observe the leaves of the tree yeah no shimmering should be produced around the leaves even during fast visual motion fans okay during motion some shimmering is produced around the fine textures of the fence I'll be honest guys image quality of FSR 4 intake upscaler is better when using OptiScaler mod compared to directly using the intake model of FSR 4 upscaler which I am doing here if you are using OptiScaler mod it's recommended to Enable the in-game XCSS2 upscaler with the in-game DLSS upscaler. I have observed some artifacts in dark areas. I'll also test the in-game FSR3 upscaler using its balance preset. Same sharpness level. Resume the game and oh my god, look at that image quality. My character is completely stationary. Very ugly shimmering is produced around the fence and the tree. Leaves of the tree image stability it's very bad what's going on in the background on that building in the pane it's exhibiting some shimmering image quality it's looking softer than before barbed wire it's also producing that shimmering effect okay fps increased from 48 to 60 so fsr 3 upscaler improved the performance at the cost of image quality so bad I'll also test the game without upscaling. TA should be used. Resolution scaling off. 
run the game at native 900p resolution. Resume the game EIFPS dropped to around 43. With FSR 4 in 8 upscaler, we were getting around 48 to 50 FPS here. I'll be honest, guys, not a big improvement in terms of image sharpness with the game running at native 900p resolution compared to intake model of FSR 4 balance preset and some shimmering is produced around the fence 3 during motion so good results produced by intake model now I'll show you how to enable XCSS range and the process is very simple enable it from the in game settings and combine it with intake model of FSR 4 upscaler balance preset I just set frame generation to XCSS apply this will automatically enable XCLL. Okay, we need to restart the game. This way setting will get enabled. Play. Yeah, we are in. FPS increased to around 75. Can observe that amount of smoothness. And look at that frame time graph. Became thick. Means XCFG is working. This is the real world input delay. Latency nothing extreme. XCSS low latency mode is doing a good job of keeping the latency in check tracing a circle you can always improve the base game performance by dropping the resolution to 720p this will help in reducing the latency time to drive my vehicle just observe the vehicle's bumper it won't exhibit any ghosting gaining some speed see no ghosting is produced around the vehicle's bumper even when the vehicle is moving at high speeds and the vehicle's shadow is not exhibiting any flickering these artifacts are produced by FSR3 frame generation I have the in-game vignette effect disabled XCFG does not produce these artifacts highly recommend you to use it that's it for the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day